What's up guys, Bodie here, BodieDavison.com. In today's video, we're gonna do another Teespring storefront tutorial, and I'm gonna go through and answer some of your questions in the YouTube comments, and just go through a few things that you guys have been asking how to do, a bit of a tutorial on the storefront, with uh, re-adding listings, deleting listings, etc. If you're new to the channel, I like to talk about print on demand and making money online. So check out the playlist I have on here. So Teespring tutorial playlist and print on demand playlist. Definitely plenty of how-tos that'll help you take your print on demand business to the next level. Also, if you're new, make sure you check out the free Facebook group, which is called Print On Demand Mastery. Completely free group where we can all learn and grow together. So make sure you check that out. Link is down below. Remember to please give the video a like for me. Comment down below any questions or video suggestions that you have for me. And make sure you hit subscribe. All right, guys. So as I said, Teespring storefront tutorial. We're just going to answer this uh, question here from Zani or Zani, however that's said. Sorry if I mispronounce it, but... One question, does this delete the item listing only from the storefront or does it delete it altogether? I only want to remove a listing from the storefront and place it into another storefront. Don't want to delete it completely. So this is in this video here, which is all about how to delete shirts and storefront. So let me just go and show you this because this is a question that's popped up a couple of times now. If we go over to my sample Teespring store here, and by the way, they've updated the... Um, Teespring storefront, so it looks a bit different these days, but it's still all very similar, completely easy to use. So let's just go to stores, and we'll go to this one that I have here, which is called Gamers World, just one that I dump for the channel. So if you wanna edit your store, you go to this edit store here, it's kind of hidden, but that's how you find it. So just go edit store. And as we load it up here, we're just gonna to go to products, and as you can see, this t-shirt is in the storefront here. So if I delete this, it's not going to delete the shirt altogether. It's only going to delete it from this storefront. So that answers that question straight away. So all you would do is delete this. Let's say I want to get rid of it out of this storefront. So I'll go delete and then just go done. All right, so now we're just going to go back to the dashboard. And then I'll show you how I would add it to another storefront if I wanted to. So now there's zero listings in there. And as far as you would think, that would be deleted. But if we go to listings, you can see the shirt is not deleted. So if I deleted it from here, then yes, it would be completely deleted from my Teespring store. But let's just go back to storefronts. And let's just go to this one and just go edit store. Now, if you ever wanna add products to another storefront, just come over to products again. And then up here, you can see add products. So we're just gonna go add products. Now, as you can see, you can see the ones that are added already to this storefront. And then I can't actually see the gamers world one here, which is where I think some of you guys might get confused. But all you would do is if you go search products and I just put in game, it actually brings it up there. So all I would do is click that. Now that's going to be added just by clicking this add button here. And now that'll be added to the storefront and I'll just go done. Now if we just go to store, oops, click on that. Okay, so that's that storefront, Pup Club, like I said. And as we go down here, there's gonna be quite a few, but as you can see, game on, world off. It is now on that storefront. So that answers those two questions in one, guys. So it answers this, does this delete the item listing only from the storefront, just like I showed you? Yes, it does, or does it delete it altogether? As I said, you would have to go and delete it from the actual listing, but if you just wanna delete it from your storefront, that's how you do it. And then um, if you wanna place it in another storefront, that's also how you just done it there. So how I just done it there. So now you guys know how to do both of those. And actually, as I was scrolling down guys, you can see just here, it's the same thing. So two people have liked this. So obviously some people are having the same issue and that's why I want to make this video. One question that I can't seem to find an answer to in videos or anyone else, can items in a storefront be moved to a different storefront? So. That's what this video answers, and now you guys know how to do that. And you also know, like I said up here, that if you delete it from a storefront, it's only from that storefront, you haven't deleted your listing altogether.
And I was just having a look one more time here and this pretty much answers this question as well. So I've answered three of your questions in one video really quickly because Owen here is asking, I created a few designs that are in listings but not my storefront and I can't seem to find how to add them to it. Could someone help me with that? So Owen, just as I showed you there, if you just go to a storefront, so we went to Pup Club, we'll just go back to Dashboard. I'll show you guys one more time. Very easy. Let's go to a storefront. So this is your edit store button up here. It's kind of hidden. Click on that. Then we're gonna to go to products. And then let's say we're searching for a product like I did before. You go add products there. And then we can just click on this and then we'll be able to add that one. And then I would just click add like I showed you guys just before. So that answers a few of your questions there guys. And nice short video. And that's it guys, answering your questions just like that. So some of these videos are going to be short, but these are the questions that people are out there looking for all the time and just can't find. So that's what I wanted to make this video about today. That's three people in a row that I've been able to help there. And I'm sure if you find this video or maybe you're just going through my videos, this will definitely help you out as well. So I know what that's like. Sometimes you're looking for something that seems so basic but you just can't figure out how to do it. So that's what this channel is all about, especially this Teespring tutorial playlist, which I'll add this one to, and all my print on demand videos. They're all about helping you guys succeed with print on demand. And as I said, I know the frustration because when I was starting out years ago with all this stuff, it took me quite a while to figure it out. Now that I have it all figured out, I can teach you guys and we can grow together. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. Please give the video a like for me. Please hit subscribe. Make sure you comment below any questions or video suggestions you have because as you can see in this video, I've made this just for you. As I said, also make sure you check out that Teespring tutorial playlist, the print on demand playlist, and also join the free Facebook group which is called Print On Demand Mastery. Link is down below. Thanks again and I'll see you guys in the next video.